So we are barely into 2022 and already so much has happened away from the camera. As you may have noticed for the last few months, I've really been doing day trash reactions the whole time. I haven't really done proper sit down commentary stuff that I've been used to doing for the last year and a half or so. But one of the things I did start this year was the second channel. I kept the secret because it wasn't something I thought a lot of people would be interested in but I was willing to give it a shot. So as a lot of you may already know, I have been a huge wrestling fan ever since I was about nine years old. And even though I've been making YouTube videos for well over a year now, I also wanted to make videos on wrestling so as to express my passion. But the problem with that is I didn't want to put it over here because to be honest, no one would watch. It's just the truth. So on January 1st of this year, I started that second channel and I have made about 25 videos on that channel so far. Let me tell you, I am failing miserably. Now look, I'm sure at some point you may have heard the term good artist copy great artist steal. I was stealing and remodifying everything. You see, I've looked at channels like What's Culture Wrestling and Cultaholic and Wrestle Talk. These are channels that are dedicated to talking about wrestling and providing wrestling news on almost a daily basis. So I kind of tried that. No, I, I didn't kind of try it. I actually tried it. Worst decision I could have possibly taken, but it had its benefits. You see, what I was using to pattern these videos was what culture wrestling template practically. They do wrestling news and they review wrestling shows in the course of the week. So that's what I kind of did. You know, they have a show. There's this guy, bald guy. He does ups and downs of segments that he likes and doesn't like. And so I kind of changed it into pros and cons. Quite the ripoff. And I know it probably wouldn't make sense and it doesn't look good that I may have copied an idea and tried to make it my own. I mean, that's really 90% of everything everybody does these days. Truthfully speaking, it made me appreciate what it means to put out that level of content so many times in a day because they are doing wrestling news and they are reviewing shows and they are posting another video on a list or something. And in Ghana, yeah, it's, it's a lot. You can't always rely on ECG to have the lights on. You can't always rely on your internet service provider to keep prices cheap or to keep the internet connection stable. So there's so many things, so many variables that go into it and I experienced all of it at once and I bent out eventually. So if I'm being honest, I all but gave up on the channel but recently I have started to consider the possibility that I may have been approaching things in the absolute wrong way and I was. Here's the thing though, I don't mean to brag but I have quite an extensive knowledge on wrestling. I mean, it's hard not to have that level of knowledge when you've been watching something for a little more than half of your life. And I figured that probably I need to switch things up a little and that's what I've practically done. So yes, for those of you that are interested in seeing commentary wrestling content, I will be doing that on that channel. It's going to be a little similar to what I do with this channel, but with a twist in that that's about wrestling and this is really going to be more of, you know, you know the dark man. I mean, I don't really need to talk too much. But basically, yes, I want to talk about some things within wrestling that I ordinarily would not have been able to do if I still continued on that format. And believe it or not, failing was probably the best thing that happened to me. Steve Harvey always uses the analogy of coming to a cliff and having to jump. And if you don't jump, your parachute will never open. Essentially speaking to the fact that if you never take a chance on something, you might never fly. You might never have a cushion landing and you might never find your feet and ultimately find your path of success. If you do not jump, your parachute will never open. And in really thinking about that, I do realize this is very applicable to me, hence the reason why I have taken that direction. So yes, even though I wanted to keep it a secret for quite some time, now you know, I have a second wrestling channel or a second channel. No, it's not a second wrestling channel. This is not the first wrestling channel. I'm really going down a rabbit hole. I've been doing this a lot lately. So introducing DMK Wrestling, where I talk about all things wrestling related. You can catch videos every single week from this point forward. I promise I will not neglect it like I kind of did with this channel a few months ago. I, and I've, I've had a bit of an existential crisis. But yeah, your dark man is back. Anyway, that's going to be it. I'll catch you very soon. I haven't done this in a while, so I don't really know how to sign out, but um, I'll see you guys. Bye.